All right, guys, are we here? Is everybody here? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. We had two live streams going at the same time. I don't know how that was even possible. And we still may have two live streams going. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Let's see. Live now. Let's make sure I have one live stream up. Now it's still showing two live streams. Um, which is really, really weird. It's, it's like the lake. Yeah. Do you have one live? There's 88 watching the wrong live stream. I have never seen anything like this before. I, and it's not letting me delete it either. It's like we're going fishing. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that one's set to private. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure. I think this is. I think this is. Okay, there we go. Now everybody is here. We have combined them. There's one. Guys, I am so sorry about this. This is crazy. You know what? This is a great example of the past week. So everything I've put my hands on this week has just. I mean, it's kind of not worked. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. And uh, I have like tenaciously tried to push through it. Um, so, you know, every hit and miss motor that I tried to get operational, we had issues with tractors. We had problems with uh, I'm building a belt grinder and everything with the belt grinder. What's up, baby? And somebody we've already got one. What happened to the hatchet? What happened to the hatchet? Um, N Nielsen, I believe it was his name. A young man won it. Spencer Nielsen, 18 year old Spencer Nielsen, loves bass fishing. Uh, if you wanted to win the hatchet, then you probably should be following him on Instagram and you should know who won the hatchet because that's where it <laughs> So, yeah, it was announced on Instagram. And, um, we'll, uh, the good thing about that is, is we're going to have another hatchet coming up. Um, actually, I'm going to make a really, really sweet combo. We'll probably do a knife axe fire starter combination. And um, also the, with the good little land fest coming up, I think I want to try to make an axe before then. But just like I said, everything's been failing. So the main point of this event uh, or this uh, live stream is to tell you guys and to let everybody know who's coming to the festival like Steven. He says he'll be at the festival. He lives in Tyler. So why not? Yes, brother. Um, I want to give you guys the information about what's going on at the event. So let's say right from eight o'clock, the gates open at eight. We're ready for parking. If you've got a four wheel drive, we've got the best parking spots you can imagine. It's like licensed to get a little mud on the tires, man. You're good to go. Um, we're going to be adding some rock in on Friday. That is the day before the event to so make sure we have car parking on, on premises. It has been raining nonstop here. If you guys have watched my last two videos, uh, it's been pouring every time. It's raining today. Uh, it's going to get in the 20s tonight, and, but the day of the event, it will be at 60 degrees. It's going to be pretty nice. So um, what we have done to make sure, just in case the ground's too soft over there, is we've hired two shuttles. They're going to be uh, making the rounds to all the hotels, which are just around the, around the corner, and then also they'll be picking people up from uh, a location that, we will post on visitlindale.com. There's going to be a map and you guys will be able to pick up the map for parking. Right. And then as we come up all through closer to the event, I will also give you guys that information. So, um, parking out of the way, the event actually starts at 10. So you got two hours to get parked, settle in, come inside, have a cup of cowboy coffee. And when I say cowboy coffee, it's going to be straight from the chuck wagon no joke literal chuck wagon is going to be there that's going to be pretty awesome i'm um, going to have a couple fire pits as well for those of you that are cold natured we're going to have a nice nice big oak burning firewood stuff it's going to be a lot of fun uh i was really excited i came i thought man you know some people are coming in from california some people are coming in from a uh you know other warm climates like Florida and 60 degrees coming from 80 degrees. It can be a little bit of a, you know, a chill, especially in the morning when it's going to be like 55. So we're going to have fire pits burning all day. So that should be pretty cool. Then food vendors. So a lot of people are wondering like, well, what's, you know, we got to go somewhere for lunch. Now we've got a really good food vendor, not like 10 food trucks. We've got one guy, he's going to provide food for everybody that's at the event and he can handle up to 5,000 people. Um, we're not going to have 5,000 people there tickets sales 
are maxed at 3000. And I think in all honesty, being the first year, we're probably going to have around a thousand. So tomorrow I get up and I do, I cut three promos. These are going to air tomorrow. I'll be live on the air uh, for our local radio station. And we'll be doing the promos for, you know, the good land fest, telling everybody about like all the awesome people that are coming and um, all like, you know, hand tool rescue, a bomb, a bomb, a bomb 79. Like uh, just the, the list goes on and on and on. So fireball tools. What's up, brother? Um, oh my God, man. Fire, I got to tell you, Jason from fireball tools, guys, he's got that little tool wrench. Go subscribe to his channel. Um, I didn't have any way to fixture a part on this setup that I was working today. And I immediately hit me. Oh, this is a, this is a perfect job for fireball tools. I had two angled cuts. Hold on one sec, two angle cuts and, uh, that had to go together, but I had a very little gap. So I just put the guides on, uh, the angle fireball tool and slid it in there and welded it right up. It worked amazing. So guys go subscribe to fireball tools and tool rescues here too. What's up, brother? I'm so I'm so excited for this weekend. I have diarrhea. <laughs> That's awesome. So, guys, this event, um, I guess we'll we'll go further. So we know we have a chuck wagon. We know we got fire pits. We also have a hit and miss powered ice cream machine. So yeah, the kids are gonna love this. So yeah, he's gonna be making sherbet. I think he's doing two rounds of sherbet. Oh, I'm gonna love it too. Yeah, come on. So hit and miss powered ice cream machine, and then of course blacksmithing. I wanted this event to really showcase kind of what it's like to visit us on a weekend. So we're going to have three separate blacksmith locations showed up and um, all of us guys are going to be, you know, blacksmithing there. I'll be out there hand tool rescue. Um, he's probably going to try his hand at it. I don't know if he's blacksmith before. I know a bomb 79 said he wanted to give it a shot. I think we're all going to blacksmith. And um, so we have three separate locations. The cool thing is one of those locations is set up specifically to blacksmith right so you guys if you're over 18 it's the only stipulation uh, i may change that a little bit i may take an hour of my day to blacksmith with kids i'm the only one that that i will allow to blacksmith with kids um i take it you know i i, I don't want anyone to get hurt so uh i blacksmith with kids all the time on the weekends and i want that to be a case so it looks like i'm um i'm probably gonna going to take an hour to do that. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, we'll have the blacksmithing going on all day. Whoever wants to blacksmith uh, as far as the YouTube creators can jump in there as well as any adults. Uh, I have three separate belt grinders set up for knife grinding and I'm working on the two by 72 right now. And it is, um, what is his name? Jeremy Schmidt. Everybody has seen that video of that incredible knife grinder he built. I'm building that one off of his plans, uh, which uh, uh, I've got all the stuff for it. So, anyway, I don't it's. Know why Hansel me up. He's he, I actually invented blacksmith. Oh, it's because he's he did. You didn't know that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, quite a quite uh, quite a day. So you could actually technically, without the tempering process, unless you do a fast temper, you could make a knife the entire day with all the stuff we have set up out there. So that's going to be really, really cool. Okay. Oh, food vendor. We have a cobbled together fake steam engine. It's more like a steam go-kart, right? Like someone kind of made it. Um, and I'd like to see about getting the boiler checked out on that and that would be really really cool to get it operational so if you guys don't know who keith rucker is um he has he, he runs the website vintage machinery.org and puts back together equipment for an amazing museum in georgia and i like literally have museum envy every time i look at it they were doing uh distilling turpentine the other day that, that's just insane that's incredible so my goal hopefully is to take our museum and bring it back to life like theirs is because you go to that museum, which I will visit this year, by the way, you go to that museum and it's alive. Like every aspect of it is alive. You can ride a train. It's just incredible. So, uh, we want to, we want to take our little museum up a notch and, uh, try to, try to, you know, make it cool for our locals. So, um, we do have a lot of like mini diorama steam, in, steam engines. And if you know, Herb, uh, Herb Dean, he is coming in to actually make us a diorama set with all of our tin type tools. And we're going to use uh, the uh, little toy steam engines to run it on. So that should be really cool. So, hey, Backyard Forge, you just held Keith Rucker's channel for review. Uh, 
Oh yeah, allow it. It's just because it's a they they they'll catch it thinking it's yeah. spam or something. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. That's fine. Um, is this is essential craftsman going? Yes. What's that? Yes, essential craftsman will be there, and Nate will be there as well. So Scott and Nate are both coming, and every every weld I lay down today, and every like you know grind I make on this knife grinder. He asked me a month ago, do you have a two by 72? And I said, I sure do. <laughs> uh, little did he know it was in pieces. That will be done. It's going to be incredible. Norton Abrasive dropped off like a ton of sandpaper. So uh, we're going to have like all different kinds of grinders going. You guys are, you know, I, I always tout how incredible Norton is. So you're going to be able to like literally pick up some sandpaper, try it out and see, you know, that mini belt sander I have that Dyna braid where I cut all the patterns in. I'm going to have pieces of steel out there and you guys are just going to be able to like, it's a hands-on experience. You're going to be able to walk up and try it. You know what I'm thinking about? I didn't even think of this. I have a ton of axes. I may show the process or put a step-by-step -step process out there and let some of you guys, um, yeah, make your own axis. Everyone keeps asking me about the axis. I'm like, I showed you how to do it, you know? I'm not going to the fest, support the channel anyway. Thanks, 42Fab. So 42Fab came down about, what, two or three weeks ago and helped us build the doors for the gift shop, which I can't call it the gift shop anymore because it is the general store now. It is morphed, and it's incredible when you guys get out there. Um, if you're bringing a wife along this is one of those places where they're going to go nuts because it was strategically engineered to take their money, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome. Like in all seriousness, it is, uh, there's okay. You walk in, it looks like what Cracker Barrel wants to be. Like it's the real deal with really cool, awesome antiques all over the place. It's packed and it doesn't even have anything for sale in it yet. So we're working on uh, getting some swag in there. But um, yeah, what else was I going to talk about? Um, the, the, the day, like how it's going to break down. A lot of these guys, a lot of the YouTubers that are coming, and there's about, I don't, I don't know how many total are coming. Like Papa Texas is on here. Papa Texas, um, you know, he's not on our list as a presenter or to be there, but he's going to be there. And so there's going to be, my guess would be probably 100 YouTubers, I would think. Craig, thanks, brother. Really appreciate that. Uh, how about Broke Knee Steven? He just texted me a minute ago. He says he's at jujitsu, which is incredible. I guess he's rolling light, so he's feeling better. He still has to get uh, surgery, but um, there's there's no quitting that guy. Steven's actually showing up Thursday along with Chucky2009. I'm going to try to see if I can somehow get Chucky to be at the event, but he has a previous engagement, but he's showing up early two days to help us out. So those of you that subscribe to Chucky, uh, he's going to be here for two days before the event. And you locals out here that want to volunteer on Friday, come on out and um, we'll get you all set up to help us out with the event. It will be incredible. And then you can hang out with me and Steven and Chucky too. Um, though we're not really hanging out, to be honest, we're working. So um, we don't have the exact schedule set yet, but uh, we are thinking 10 o'clock. We're going to start off with Texas Parks and Wildlife. And if you guys don't know, they're going to, they got a boat and that boat will drive around the lake. It's got uses pulse DC current with some little electrodes in the water to stun the fish and bring them up to the surface. They're going to have a microphone out there explaining to you what they do. Really just brilliant biologists on the boat. And, um, and then they're going to do a class on how to clean a fish and uh, a little bit of information about pond maintenance. Now, the key to this is, is everyone that does a class, they're there for the rest of the day to, to answer any questions that you might have. So, like, I have my own pond and then I'm starting a new pond. And that kind of information, it's hard to find pond maintenance information on the Internet. So, Tara Drake, five bucks. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. Yeah. Sunset Bay Bonnie says, put... Put up plenty of videos for us, poor sats that can't make it. So maybe talk about the live stream. Okay, so we're going to be running a live stream on the channel all day. So uh, Zalikman, Tom Zalikman's coming down, and he's incredible. He's really, really good at live stream. So we're going to be playing video from all the different YouTube channels that are coming, and we're going to be live streaming the entire time, which is going to be awesome. So, And then I'm sure everybody else is going to live stream as well. Excited for the warm weather this weekend, too. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be warm compared to what you're dealing with, brother. 60s is what we're what we're talking about. Um, ah, 22 is here. What's up, brother? Uh, the raffle's an all-day thing. So the raffle, we got 
tickets right here. Yeah, I think there's 2,000 in there. We may or may not sell those depending on how many how many people show up. We've got everything from a $2,500 ACDC MIG TIG stick uh, welding machine. One of my axes is in, the, is in the drawing. Now, the axis from... So all that stuff I made in my rust bucket challenge, that's going to be in the, um, uh, the raffle as well. And I think, honestly... I probably want that to go as a package, right? So that you have the entire set. Uh, that's going to be, it's a hard one to let go of. I got to tell you, I love those knives. I love that, uh, the axe. I love the little grinder. It's a really cool package. And then a bunch of other awesome companies sent stuff out. We're going to have a ton of sandpaper from Norton. We're going to have uh, Big Gator Tools send us a bunch of these drill tap sets. And um, they're guides, actually. And they are incredible. I'm going to have a video out soon with those on there. You guys will be able to see all this stuff. Um of course, CRC, they, they're, they're, I think they have like five or six individual totes full of CRC products that they're bringing out. And um, Fireball Tools just sent me. He's on here right now. So, guys, go subscribe. Uh, says, are tickets still available? Uh, they should still be available online. If they're not available online, they are selling them at the, like, at the gate. Visit Lindell.com for tickets, and there is a link in the description where you can get tickets. It'll direct you, direct you straight to there. Also, everybody subscribe to the Visit Lindell Facebook page, and that will help you get up to the minute information. I will start posting all of this stuff on Instagram as well, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, so, Justin, we are going to see SV Seeker uh, is going to be there. Doug is awesome. So, Doug is going to be doing this is right in line. Doug is going to be doing a class, and this is awesome. Or I don't know if we really call it a class, a demonstration on metal casting. So if you don't know who SV Seeker is, guys, somebody please post a link. Um, hey, Bob's here. Awesome. Okay. R-T-I-N-D is Bob, right? He is sending out W1 three-quarter inch drill rod for all of us to make knives out of the event. Send Bob some love. He wants to be at this event. He's he's had a, a little bit of health issues right now, and he can't make it down. So we're praying that he can get here next month. Um, that's going to be awesome. Floyd Farms, how you doing? Um, um, also, are you uh, also putting an experience in the raffle? An experience? Oh, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the raffle as well. So we have a bunch of cool tools going in the raffle. Guys, it's huge. It's too big for me to name right now. Uh, tickets are 5 bucks. And there's going to be incredible stuff. Like I said, the big prizes are, um, you know, $2,500. And the little prizes are $500. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's just a lot. And so uh, you'll be able to look at all the stuff and mess around with it. But one of the other things I'm going to do is um, this one will be preferably, hopefully, one of our locals will win it. What you get is we're going to make an axe together on a YouTube video. So I'm going to take you into the shop. Uh, no, it's going to be an axe. I'm probably going to do an axe and a knife. So we'll do a full knife build and a full axe build. And um, yeah. We're so professional. Yeah. I probably, come the day of the event, I'll probably have five axes and five knives in the in the event. You know, it's just, I just uh, like hanging out with people and we can schedule that stuff out for later. And uh, that would be really cool. So um, Hantul is in Canada. He's my brother from the north. Um, so yeah. Okay. So looming and pottery stuff like that. It's going to be all day. And, um, so I don't know who that was, um, looming and pottery and, uh, tree grafting, all this kind of stuff, all day event. Uh, we got, well, like I said, we're going to have a lot of doctorates out there that are going to be teaching really cool classes, soap making. So there's something for everyone out there, but you know, I mean, blacksmithing, solar panel, off grid living, animal husbandry, uh, the whole nine yards. It's gonna be. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, he wants to know if they can, if he can tenderize a steak with the power hammer. We actually have um, uh, Corazon Beef. It's my beef provider. He's a part of our um, uh, farmers market, right? And uh, he just asked if he could come out, and I'm like, Yeah, dude, you're the farmers market oh, guy. His, so His yeah, he's got the best meat. So here's the deal: power hammer up and running. Meat on on property, yes. And there's a cowboy cooker barbecue grill out there. I'm just saying, what? this sounds like something we should do on the live stream. <laughs> so that's going to be kind of the event, guys. You're going to be able to like watch Hantle Rescue tenderize a $30 steak with a power hammer. Organic. Organic steak. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love letting creative, creative people have fun. And be creative. We, we we're not 
we're not locking down a bunch of the YouTube creators with classes. They're here to hang out with you guys. When you come to this event, I'm not doing anything that day other than blacksmithing with some kids and then hanging out with you guys. <laughs> there is an incredible TIG class just after saying we're not locking them down with all this stuff. So, all right. So I just pulled up the documentation for the TIG class today. It's this, if, even if you think you know everything about TIG, you probably don't know everything about TIG. I know nothing about TIG, uh, but do right fabrication. Jim Bollinger is going to be my coach. He's going to be teaching me. I'm actually going to head down to Florida this year, and we're going to spend a little time on his farm. And uh, I'm going to get the full the full roll on how to on how to TIG weld. So, hey, Bob, seventy nine. Um, so yeah, uh, so he's going to be teaching a TIG class, and that's going to be held upstairs in the warmth, in the heat. You'll be able to go up there in a kind of a private environment. I think we've, that class has probably, if we have to, we'll move it outside if it gets too big, if we have too too much of a response. But I think um, probably anywhere from 50 to 75 people we can put up there. And um, so the, you're going to learn beyond the fundamentals. So this isn't something that you're going to walk in and then someone's going to put a TIG torch in your hand. There's no welding in this class. It's going to be, it's going to be kind of the whole curve of it. So I don't even know enough to know enough to tell you what it's about. All I know is that when guys who think they can weld get taught by Jim Bollinger, they have a lot of aha moments. Those that's why we do that. So if you if you're the kind of guy like me that wants to know why you do why you do what you do and your normal response is, well that's just the way it is, but you you know there's more to it. Jim Bollinger's your guy and he's coming down here. He's going to teach you guys how to dig weld. It's going to be cool. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You get a twenty-six page booklet, uh, and that you get to take with you. You can put notes on it. I mean, the whole nine yards. It's going to be incredible, guys. This is about skills, and it's about you guys having the opportunity to hone your skills. And so, after the TIG class is done, you want some more clarification on that information. He's there for the rest of the day, and you know, if he's not blacksmithing, I think we're all blacksmithing. By the way, Keith's going to be there. Yes, Keith Rucker's going to be here. I'm so excited about that. It's going to be so awesome. And uh, I just got to make it down to his museum. So, guys, any other questions? This is kind of fun. Yeah, I love seeing all those blue wrenches. <laughs> I know. Welcome back, everybody. Build Something Cool is here. Yeah, so Build Something Cool, Dale, MetalTipsAndTricks.com. If you did not see his last video, he's finally back, ladies and gentlemen. His move is done. Dale's making videos. Thank God. And he was our master. Ceremony. Yeah, he's our MC, so he's going to be running the event, which is incredible. Uh, really, really cool. So he runs Bar Z as well. We stole him up, and um, yeah, it's just it's just really, really awesome. BNB Forge, what's up, brother? Um, so yeah, uh, he's going to be he's going to be running the event, and uh, he'll probably be calling out the raffle after all that's done. The raffle will go by really quick. There he is, Bar Z's in the house. Shandon, what's with the jacket? Better not be cold there. It is freaking cold 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 right now but that's just today it goes down to 32 tonight and then it's back up to 60 tomorrow and then we're done it's good so yes liam hoffman will be here and uh yeah i mean they're they're gonna be blacksmithing so you can hang out and blacksmith with liam hoffman i mean how cool is that thanks papa uh, are we going to do a cannon? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's going to kick off opening ceremonies, guys. It's going to be incredible. So they're going to be, there's going to be a, <laughs> so the, I showed a, you know, so this is all being done through the city of Lindale, right? And uh, visit Lindale.com. And this city is incredible, guys. I'm so happy that, that they're willing to let me and a whole bunch of YouTubers just like have a big party at their, at their museum. Um, of course I've proven that I don't break stuff and I fix it. And so they like it. And uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> do right fabrication called me up and says, Hey man, uh, you want to shoot a cannon? And I was like, always what kind of what do you mean do i want to shoot he's like well, what about your event and i'm like oh we're in the middle of the city this can't like surely you can't fire a cannon in the city and he's like well it's, you know won't you ask <laughs> and so i asked and she's like oh i said it doesn't it just makes a loud noise and she's like okay i mean it, it can make a loud noise it can also blow things apart um but we're just gonna set it up to make a loud noise and the city manager says uh 
show me a video. And then she sees the video and it's an incredible, go to do right fabrication right now. It's an incredible, uh, uh, just gorgeous brass cannon. And, um, uh, I explained to her that she's going to fire a paper wad across the lake. And she's like, yeah, that'll work. So we're going to have opening ceremonies. There'll be a prayer from the local judge. And uh, I think they're going to make a proclamation of the day uh, being, I think it's the good of land fest day or something to that effect. And then wah, cannon explodes and, and we party on. So it's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be nuts. Yeah, Steven. So uh, you said you were in Tyler. Um, all you got to do is come down, brother. Uh, so um, I would come down on Thursday or Friday, uh, you know, just just uh, uh, send me. Let's see. Send me. Uh, babe, will you post my um, email address? Send me an email and then I'll get back with you and we'll get you down. I mean, we need a ton of stuff. So just come down, hang out and, and get it done. I second hand tool rescue. What did hand tool rescue said? Oh, I don't know. Oh no, I missed oh, it. I'm suggest. I suggest we launch Justin. Oh. Maybe like on a trebuchet. I don't want to do a cannon. And I don't know if you guys have seen me. There's no way this butt's fitting in that cannon. <laughs> so anyway, Jim plays golf with that cannon. Only problem is he can't find the balls. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, guys, if you want to see me shot out of a cannon, I guess I'll do whatever for your uh, entertainment. Oh, Amy said no. Uh, sorry, guys. There's a lady here right now, and you know how that goes. Can't shoot myself out of a cannon. Oh, all right. Well, this has been incredibly entertaining. Here's Jim's cannon video. There you go, guys. Watch that. Oh, I can't wait to go back and reread all these comments because I've just been talking and talking. Amy in a cannon. <laughs> No, I say, oh, she, she said she shoots with a Nikon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so, yes, big thanks to Keith Rucker for driving the cannon down. That's awesome. And the good thing is he's, they're driving these cannons from Georgia to Texas. So if they get pulled over, it's like, well, of course you have a cannon. <laughs> we, so Amy has a 9 millimeter she keeps on her bedside table. And we had an attempted home invasion one time. And uh, that was like... The, the the hilarious shock we get from that video when she's showing the house. She's like, oh, by the way, this is my nine ch 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 chambers and all that stuff. And um, and everyone's like, is that a real gun? Oh, my God. Why do you own a gun? So anyway, that's where we get our food. <laughs> Doug, you need a cannon for your vessel. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's where <laughs> uh sv seekers here guys go check out and he is not a let me see if i get him oh let's see add moderator a bomb yeah it was a ruger <laughs> did that get it uh yeah you need a note i'll get you hey listen I can get you a note from the city manager excusing you from class. How about that? Backyard Forge, uh, quit hiding links. <laughs> Let him put links in. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Backyard Forge is posting all the links. Yeah. Thank you, Backyard Forge. It's popping up weird over here on mine. Yeah. Speaking of which, fire. Backyard Forge, are you coming to the event? I mean, you're in Texas. There's no excuse for not being here. American Chris from American Rotary is going to be there, and. Chris is not coming like as a sponsor. He's coming as the sponsor from Bar Z Summer Bash. Guys, Bar Z Summer Bash is incredible. I'm going, I will be there along with uh, Jimmy DeResta will be there. Um, all of us are going to be there June 25th, 6th, 7th, somewhere in there. I can't remember the exact date. Uh, and you'll get all that information from Stan. He's going to be at my event. And so I'll be in California. There, that That is the... It's the only YouTube event I went to last year, and it was incredible. It was so much fun. Christina Perez says, how much are tickets? 
Christina, tickets are ten dollars for adults. Kids get in free always. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. That was key. That was one thing that was very important to us was that you know we we it, it was just an event that kids could enjoy. And you can go to visit Lindell.com for tickets. And when you're there, they have kids' tickets, but they're just there's they're no price. We're just making sure we have a good count on people. So A Bomb 79 got the wrench. No, I'm not going. I wish I could. Oh, you live in Florida. I did not know that. Thank you for your sense of humor. Man, I try. How many chainsaws can I steal? You know, that was one, uh, like, Carolyn today, the city manager, she's like, uh, how many people are going to, and what's the YouTube? She's like, I just don't want anything leaving. I said, Carolyn. If anything happens to anything here, all these guys are just gonna fix it. <laughs> like they're gonna. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can, you can. I guess you can steal whatever you want. Um, but that's steal. Speaking about wrenches, I'll bring some for you. Woo woo! Super excited. We're gonna be giving away hand tool rescues wrenches. No, anyone can steal whatever they want. They're probably gonna get arrested. Yeah, it's just, it's a personal decision. <laughs> but uh Yeah. So actually I still haven't put that one chainsaw back together cuz I I just decided I needed to finish the um what do you call it the grinder first. So uh, I got to get that done. I don't know. Do you ride fabrication backyard or forward? Frontier Airlines 168 bucks. Yeah, uh backyard force tell your mom Steven or I'll pick you up at the airport. <laughs> all right guys well Greg says losing weight looking good justin he is losing weight me oh maybe a little i'm trying to look better because like adam booth is a chiseled god now i don't know if you've been watching him but he's looking pretty awesome it's really inspired me and so uh i i gotta get uh i gotta get my stuff taken care of and it really is he was talking about that the other day it's really about that portion control and um I try generally what I would do is eat like half the cow and a stick of butter. And now I've just cut out the butter. So, um, actually I've added actually, more I butter. Added <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, been doing good. I probably dropped 10 pounds in a couple weeks. So, uh, hey, we're going to keep going. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I don't know, man, it's awesome. <laughs> it just about, you know, it's so funny, us guys, we go and we go and we go and we work and we work and we work and we just shove whatever we can in our mouth and get us out. And um, I just had to, I had to, I had to quit doing that, you know, and that's, that's the key. So I'm trying to get back a hold of it. Health reasons, the whole nine yards. And um, it, I just, you always feel better when you eat right. So I've been doing, I've been doing pretty good. Need more line shaft vids. Heck yeah. I need more line shafts. Um, we're going to be setting up a line chef pretty soon. Nearest airport is Dallas, or you can fly into Tyler. Um, some fly into Tyler, but you, nearest airport is Dallas. And uh, all the guys are flying into Dallas, and then they're driving over. Um, yeah, DFW, Love Field Airport, either one of those. I did the 25, uh, the 20 pound sledgehammer diet this weekend. Whew, that'll get you, man. That's a That's a tough one. Bulletproof coffee. Yes, sir. No, the opposite. I'm on. Yeah, I got a, I got a bunch of deer in the freezer. So yeah, I do eat rabbit if that's what you mean. <laughs> so, uh, how much, uh, how much horsepower does the two by seventy two grinder have? It is two horsepower. Um, I got the, I, I still got to wire up the frequency drive tomorrow, and uh, she should be good to go. Um, I know that when the, oh, what's his name? The gentleman that has the original plans on YouTube, the video everybody's seen. Um, ah, it's killing me. Anyway, he did a horsepower and a half, and that sucker ate metal. Uh, I was going to go three horsepower, but then some reason, I can't remember. I don't know if it was the frame design uh, with this particular machine, but I couldn't do it. Because, um, of course, I'm a guy and more powers. Yeah, hand tool rescue. You need at least 12 horsepower. Come on. He is correct. Okay, here's the deal. We modify it to run off the 16-horse Galloway hit and miss motor. <laughs> That'll be awesome. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to do something a little different with this one. 
uh, you know, Norton is sponsoring this event and Norton Abrasives. And if you guys know or you don't know, I really have loved their sandpaper as a body technician. And I've been using it for a long time. All of my axes are ground and done with Norton. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> he says done. Uh, it, uh, so they're sponsoring this event. And so I've decided to Marcus. What's up, brother? Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And uh, so I'm going to um, I'm going to I'm going to paint this one blue, but I'm going to do. Oh, gosh. First, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to sandblast the whole thing. I'm going to slick the metal out. I was a body guy. This thing is going to be slick, very, very slick. All the welds are going to be cleaned up. Everything's going to be super slick on it. And then I'm going to uh, prime it, block it, sand it, and then shoot silver paint on it over the whole thing. And Christina Perez, thank you very much. Wish you could make it, but you guys do it priceless. Uh, please buy a few tickets for someone who can't buy them. You got it. Absolutely. You got it. No problem. So we'll get that. We'll get that handle. Fantastic. Um, and thank you so much. And Clark. Thanks, Clark. Really appreciate it. That's, that's awesome. This is really good. This is, this is, this is nice, man. It all helps out. Like seriously does. Um, so uh, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to clean this thing up and then I'm going to on the side, I'm going to take the Norton logo. And then I'm going to etch the Norton logo into the side as deep as I can possibly etch it. And the Norton logo will actually be raised and the etching will be around it. Okay. And then I'm going to grind that pattern that I put in the axis on there because it's kind of like my signature, if you will. And so the whole thing is going to be silver. I'll grind through all that paint. I'll put all this on there. And then once that's done, I'm going to cover up just the Norton logo and then I'm going to candy blue it. So it's going to be Norton's colors are blue. And so the, it's going to be candy. So anywhere where, where the grinds are with my pattern, that's going to shine like metal, but it's going to be candy coated on top of that. And then I'm going to take my plating machine and I'm going to plate Norton in either copper or copper than nickel. And uh, it'll be like a little chrome badge. Yeah, man. CRC is awesome. You guys are going to meet Jake from CRC out there and they're going to have a bunch of swag for you guys. So, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They're an event sponsor. So, and, and guys, they've jumped on after they, they tried us out for two months to see, um, if it was a good fit, right? Like if I was going to, uh, be a good fit for their company. And the reason that we went after them is because the products are high quality. I'm telling you, the more the more and more I get into some of their more obscure products, the more impressed I am. It's really, really cool. So I'm really happy to have him. A bomb seventy nine. He's talked to Jake, and um, uh, and so a, a lot of you guys, your guys are going to get to meet him. And if you got YouTube channels and you want them to send you some product, that's why I set this kind of stuff up so that you guys then could talk to them and get some products that you need to help you guys make the video that you need to make. And um, and it's kind of like with us YouTubers, we all grow together. So like Papa Texas is on here, right? Um, he's like anytime Papa Texas wants to come down and hang out with me and do YouTube videos, it's on. Now it's kind of weird. The new algorithm kind of locks us in place. So if I do a video, unfortunately it has to be around restoration or something like that. That's why you don't see hand tool rescue driving race cars because he has to be hand tool rescue. And, um, you know, we all have to stay within some kind of genre, uh, or YouTube punishes us for it, frankly. So anyway, but, um, CRC was at Fabtech in Atlanta last week. Then, then, then you met Jake because Jake was one of the guys that was there, and he's going to be at this event too. It's pretty cool. And I will probably be at Fabtech with CRC next year. I, I would be shocked. Or do I? Um, <laughs> I do want to see a, a car driving video. Here's my thought of Fabtech next year, guys. All of us YouTubers getting together that go to Fabtech and then start on one end with a live stream and like all of us be live streaming on our channels and try to make it all the way across the other event. Cause it's like a mile and a half and uh, just see if we can make it and just have that be the live stream and say hi to everyone we know. So that would be super sweet. Actually, right. I did meet Jake. <laughs> you met a lot of people that day. I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, let me see. Show. I don't know. Anyway. Awesome. Do you guys have any more questions? Yeah, guys. Questions? Let me know. Or questions for A-Bomb or questions for uh, Do-Right Fabrication. Or... 
So, Steve, uh, I got the tractor put back together. I'm going to leave the tuning to Steven. He's going to be here on Thursday, and uh, he's coming down with Chucky 2009, and then those guys are going to help uh, knock out a lot of the rest. We have several that I still want to get rolling, but I know that they're probably not going to give me much trouble. They're in pretty good shape, and uh, the systems that operate on them are, are pretty good. So we'll be like rip immediately ripping apart the mixers, making sure the gas tanks are clean. Most of the gas tanks, unless they had gas in them, um, they were, uh, they're all coated. So whoever did the restoration in the seventies or whatever, they coated the gas tanks. Fantastic. Uh, makes it a lot easier on us. And so I'm going through and I'm picking specific ones that don't require a lot. And the one thing I do want to have going absolutely without question is our wood splitter. That thing is really cool. So I hooked up a power hammer or the power hammer to a hit and miss engine. It's not going to cut it guys. Our power hammer is just worn out and needs to be rebuilt. I'm pushing it with a two horsepower electric motor and that works, but it doesn't work very well as a power hammer. It works really good as a metal squisher, um, but not as a power hammer. So, all right. You need Tim Allen for more power, dude, guys, I have been uh, watching. What's the show? Last man standing every time I come home and uh, it's very refreshing having something coming in from that side. If you haven't watched it and you're looking for like a good man show to watch, definitely say last man standing hammer of Thor. Thanks brother. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, watch the vid I just posted. All right. You got it. Um, it. It didn't come up at first and I had to let it go through. So uh, anyway, thanks Thor. Appreciate that. Uh, I have another build, you know, coming up here soon, guys, that I'm excited about doing. I've been thinking about it a while. I'm a bit of a comic book nerd myself. Uh, Amy is as well. And, you know, we're kind of nerds. So um, apparently Thanos has a sword in the next movie, and I'm thinking about making it. Uh, we'll see. If I do, I'm going to have it built. They've released images of it. I'm going to have it built before. So big block hooked to a 500-pound hammer. Oh, I will definitely be watching that video. All right, guys. Anyone else uh, have any questions? I got to go to bed. I got to be up at like four. I'm on the radio tomorrow. Um, once again, for all of you, uh, I'm going to recap what I said earlier. Awesome event, November 17th. Come hang out. It's going to be cool. Hey, Justin. Uh, do you want to do a collab restoration on an old vice? Yeah, you got to get your butt down here, though. That's key. Uh, I can't, sh you can't ship an old vice. <laughs> you can. Did you hear about Stan Lee? No. No. Uh, new homestead videos. Um, where is P stored? <laughs> where I got a feeling we got a good joke coming up. Where is P stored? Oh, Stan Lee died. Oh, well, thanks, Stanley. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah. Entertaining. Oh, crazy. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be selling a 57 Ford and playing with some new toys. Awesome, brother. Rest in peace, Stanley. See you guys soon. I'm out. Got to get some editing done. I do too, but I don't. Excelsior. Fantastic. All right, guys. God bless. We'll see you guys at the fest. Uh, I think I'm going to have a nip and then uh, go to bed. <laughs> Bye, guys. Absolute pleasure. And thanks for everyone for supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And um, live video, for those of you that can't make it, live video broadcasting all day from the event on the Good Old Land channel. All right. Bye.